And right now at 11, we're about to mark 17 years since the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. And tonight, some extra visible security is in place at South Florida's major airports. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega is live at MIA with the story. Aurelia. Elliot and Ruta Bay, it's pretty calm right now as it usually is during this time of night. But earlier today, there were long lines of cars trying to get through a security checkpoint before making their way inside the airport. Travelers looking to hop on a flight at Miami International Airport first had to get through these long lines at the entrance that led to a security checkpoint staffed by airport security, Miami-Dade Police, Florida Highway Patrol, and other agencies. We've been advising passengers to arrive at the airport a little bit earlier because we do have this increased security. They were just like picking certain cars because we just drove through and then they were having some like pull over. Signs on major roadways let travelers know of the active checkpoints at MIA on the eve of the 17th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Beefed up security as there's something going on, but I mean September 11th is tomorrow. 17 years ago, the nation was forever changed on September 11th when terrorists hijacked four planes and carried out attacks in New York City and the Pentagon. Since then, airports periodically increase security, specifically around 9-11. A lot of well-placed security. Everyone was checking, checking really well, like looking inside the cars and everything like that. Travelers at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport also saw beefed up security at its terminals. Airport officials say the heightened security does not involve any specific threat. Although passengers are dealing with yet another wait in their travel plans, they say it's worth it to feel safe. Of course, you, you took longer to get here, but it is not a thing that delayed us. And tomorrow, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport is expected to hold a remembering ceremony for the victims killed in the attack. Live, at, live in Miami, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight.